Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yay, so I have been working on the lander for our mega ship. Now this has not been a very easy process, and I will be covering a lot more of it as we get into orbit. Turn this on. We might make a few scans here and there, so I might as well just leave this on. I'll turn off the beep though, so you guys don't get all yeah, the, the beep is just annoying, I'll put it that way. So, I, I changed up a little bit of the, the launch once again. I, I didn't really want to change it that much, but I just saw no point in having this lower stage here, since we're going to be keeping this, and most of this, it's, you know, well, at least we, we, we should be keeping this. This is our engine for our lander, so... I decided that we are going to kind of change up the design and now if you guys can remember on my old Jewel Explorer with the landing stage that I had and the command module, it's basically kind of a command module lander mix only the lander is going to be the pretty much the only part where there's going to be a where the Kerbals are going to stay. There's no, nobody that's going to actually go into orbit and uh, stay in orbit while another another part of the crew lands. It's all going to be just one big lander. I, I decided to opt for that because number one, it will knock down a few parts here and there and it will also make things a little bit easier and it, it also will fix a few things too. I, the number one thing on my old Jewel Explorer was that there was two separate engines. This one will have just one engine and that will be basically all of it. So let's see here. Oh yeah, we need to get this down a little bit. I don't know why this changed over. That kind of confused me a little bit. I was like, eh, hey, what's going on here? So let's see. All right, bring this down. Perfect. Bring it down a little bit more. Come on. So yeah, it's going to be basically two separate parts. If you guys know, remember my Jewel Explorer, that's how it was. Oh well. It was two separate parts, but with two separate engines, and you had to turn one off and turn one back on, and it just it didn't work out so well in the end because there was just a lot of little problems where I would forget to do, turn off one of the engines, you would burn some fuel by accident and not realize it, or whatever. This just kind of cuts out the middleman on all of that stuff, and basically you just end up with a very nice and simple design. What will end up happening is this kind of command module piece will end up staying in orbit at the top and the lower lander will just drop down and, you know, do whatever its business needs to be done and get off the planet. Now, hopefully, the, the one thing I am a little concerned about, uh, this engine will be powerful enough to get them into orbit off of a planet, or another moon or planet, I should say. The main problem is is that I don't know how powerful of an engine I will need for my voyages and whether or not it will be suitable for every circumstance because you guys know just as well as I do, the gravity changes depending on what planet you go to. I know I won't be able to land on EVE with something like this and be able to take off. Probably not uh, Duna as well, but Duna has... I have my own plans for stuff like that. I end up, I plan on ending up building some kind of reusable lander and it's something like that to take off and land on the surface of Duna. That is going to become a lot, lot later. I, I was thinking about getting a space station into orbit around Duna at some point, but the main problem is, is that this is the modded series, so I'm not overly dedicated or in building uh, you know, space stations and stuff like that. I, I don't really know. I, there isn't really much of motivation for me to really build a space station as of yet. But if you guys want to see me build a, st a station, or just build another station, just let me know. I mean, well, why not? I'll go ahead and build another station. I was thinking of building a Kerbal Space Station a long time ago, but I ended up just not doing it at all, so kind of jumped into this mega ship thing so and and the uh, whole building the uh minmus base where is min oh there's minmus right there Be beautiful 
So the one thing I did do as well is I ended up modding my first part. Now, some of you might be wondering exactly what that is because, you know, I, I mean, I'm modding parts as, as I go. But I needed something that Keithane couldn't give me. And that is the ability to produce hydrogen and uh, basically refine hydrogen in order to, you know, create hydrogen gas for this mod because there's no other way to do it other than bringing loads of it up into orbit. Which, honestly, guys, I'm going to tell you right now to bring up. I could probably pack a rocket with a ton of hydrogen, more than this ship will probably need. Take off with all of it and dock up with the ship and refuel the ship completely with hydrogen. That, that's really not a big issue, at least for right now. But my main thing is, is that I would rather have some way of actually just producing it instead of having to... Have having to replenish it by actually having a ship take off. I would rather have some way of doing it that way. So let's see. We gotta set this as our tar oh, it's already set as our target. We just gotta do a little bit more of a burn. There we go. So this one I'm probably gonna be a little bit wasteful. Not to mention we also have a boatload of fuel. I kind of planned on there being just a ton of fuel. So, that, that kind of confused me. I thought there was something in orbit below us. I was like, what's that? Let's see. All right. So, if we just do a little bit of a burn here. I know this is probably going to be a very wasteful docking. And I could probably do this a bit faster. I can do this faster if I just go like this. Even though that's incredibly wasteful. So, whatever. I, we're, I'm not really concerned with fuel right now. We don't need to actually replenish any of the fuel on the ship. I, it is full of liquid fuel. Everything has been basically replenished in the last two dockings that we had. I ended up relaunching the, uh, whatchamacallit, the reactor unit because of the little problems that we had. And it's looking pretty good. The only thing I did, and I don't know if you guys are going to like it, but is I ended up shifting out some of the... Let's see here. Hold on. Uh, man, that's... There we go. 1.4? I'm okay with this. I ended up shifting out the radiators. And for the radiators, there was someone who asked me. I forgot who it was. Sorry. The radiators in this version of the game I'm playing are from the near future uh, mod I believe it's called the near future if you look in the bottom in the description all the links to all the mods I'm using are in there so I believe it is the, called the near future mod and that has everything so let's get a little bit closer here there that, that's looking good how far off of the target are we um yeah, we're going to end up either breezing by our target or we're going to be pretty good. I, I really hope we're going to just be pretty good here. So we're coming at it about a 700 meters a second, which isn't very good. So let's just slow this down a little bit. Oh, this isn't going to be that bad, I don't think. As long as we can get it down to like 200 before our engine quits on us. So That's looking really good. That's looking really, really good. Now the one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to knock this off center a little bit so then when we decouple this stage, it doesn't go heading straight for our ship or anything like that because that just won't be good. Just bleed off some of the speed. Just a little bit more. Here we go. There we go. I think this should be it for that stage. It worked out perfectly. We didn't even really have to use very much fuel at all. There we go. Just get that fairing out of the way, whatever it's called. There we go. All right, so let's see. Where are we going to be meeting up here? Now, I can knock this back in. And this thing looks like it's getting pretty good acceleration. I'm not very hesitant towards flying it I was just very concerned with it not being very stable there are a few parts on it that are kind of hanging off the side and it was kind of the last minute decision on how I was going to set these things up 
So that's one of the main reasons on why that kind of looks the way it does. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we're at the point now where we can just do a burn directly at this thing because we slowed down just a little bit too much. So I'm going to kind of just make up for the fact that we don't have any acceleration whatsoever. I also did put a few different things. It's kind of a mixture of different stuff. That's all I'm going to say is there's a few different mods that are involved right here. One of, one of them is the near future mod. And the other is just a few different mods all mixed together. Most of it is all the the near future mod and the Kerbal, uh, the, the Keithane mod. That's what I should say. Yeah, the Keithane mod. So I wish I could kind of show you guys a little bit of how this thing is going to work once it gets, once we uh, get there and all kinds of stuff like that. But there isn't really much to show. I, I can show you... There is two different sets of solar panels on here. I put them both on here only because I didn't really just want to use one specific type of solar panels. And, you know, the, the one thing I will say is that we're not going to have adequate power in order to do all the mining and everything else. But we're going to have more than enough to get what we want done. So that that's I think that's the main issue that really should be. I, I'm not very worried about the power, at least for right now. This thing has about six, like, thermic generators on it, which I didn't really want to put on there, but you can see them. They're right here. Um, these pieces here got screwed up in the welding, but yeah, there's really nothing I could do about that. We have three miners, which I don't know how much power is actually going to be drained while we're mining, but we can always test that stuff out. And we have our one Keithane converter here, which I'm going to be adding one to the ship as well. And also a big Keithane storage on the ship. Because I feel like we should be storing this stuff on the ship as well. We shouldn't just have a little lander and that's all the storage for Keithane that we're going to be having. I really don't feel like that will be adequate enough for the amount of stuff we're going to be doing. So let's see... We're not getting, we're getting kind of bad frame rate right now. I don't know why. We should start slowing down as well. That would be kind of smart thing to do. At least so we're approaching the ship instead of flying past it. That, that would make more sense. But yeah, we're not getting very good frame rate right now. I think it just has to do with the fact that Kerbin is in the picture, but I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Alright, I'm going to put this solar panel away. I don't want to damage anything on here. Put this guy away, and I'll slow down a little bit more. That way we're down to, like, maybe that, that, that works. Just speed this up, and we should be... Oh, God, there we go. Yeah, there's a little bit of a lag because I'm using uh, this joint reinforcement mod. What it does is it kind of slows things down a little bit and then it speeds it back up and like it's just normal again. But because of, I'm using that, it kind of screws stuff up a little bit. God, I'm getting a little bit, the frame rate is not looking good right now. I don't know why it's so bad, but let's see if this has anything to do with it. Um, actually, I don't think I can deflate it if there's Kerbals inside of it, so I'll have to, uh, I'll have to empty that thing, maybe. I, I don't know what it is, but I really hope that this thing isn't just going to start taking a crap on me now. Uh, but I really love these nuke engines as far as when it comes to docking and everything else. It just works out so nicely. Come on. There we go. So the other thing I was thinking about building is kind of another mega ship, and I have that kind of in the plans for the future. I don't know when I will be doing this, but hopefully somewhat soon. I uh, don't really know how I'm going to build it, because it's going to be very big. It's going to be probably maybe three or four times the size of this. 
I, I really can't honestly tell you how big it's going to be, but th that is kind of the main plan, is to build something just ungodly massive. So let's see. Alright, this isn't going to be too bad. No, I'm probably not going to dock up the entire thing this episode by... Because I'm going to dock one on one side and then one on the other. I think that will be the most adequate way of doing this. But I do have RCS thrusters on here, everything. The RCS thrusters are on the inside. I kind of wanted them hidden, which I think they look pretty hidden. They look really good. I, I think this ship came out really, really good. I just really hope that it does everything that I'm expecting it to do. So that is a, definitely a different story, and I really don't know how well it's really going to handle in space and if it's going to be very stable all by itself. So I'll end up probably figuring that out later. Come on. Oh, God. So yeah, the one thing I'm not going to be doing a lot of is turning the lights on on the ship because the lights themselves generally cause a lot of problems and uh, it, it really does kind of screw up the frame rate with this whole thing as well. Why does this not seem very centered? That's all I'm really questioning. There we go. Because it's not. It, it is not that centered. There we go. Hopefully we don't hit the ship in any kind of way. That would not be good. Oh, and we are not aligned with the right docking port. That would cause some other problems. I kind of want to go for the center one, but I mean, if I have to, maybe I'll go for another one, but I don't think we're going to be able to pack in both of these on one side. definitely not a room uh, not a lot of room for that so the other thing I am going to think about adding as well I'm not sure I planned on putting like a docking port on here for the MMU packs because I was gonna bring one down to the surface whenever we end up going to a different planet with this thing hopefully if everything works out well and this thing doesn't like explode or just cause lots of problems. I was gonna put an MMU pack thing on here, but I didn't do that at the end because there just isn't enough room. We can use the the uh, the Kerbal packs. I, I forget what they're called. The the man packs that they have built on. That should be good enough. So this thing is definitely freaking amazing now. So what I'm going to do as well too is I think. I'm going to have to launch some probes as well because I was thinking about making a few satellites, small satellites that I could bring with me that have the key thing scanning on it and also like an ion drive and then there'll be a very cheap way to scan a planet very quickly and I could put them in different orbits and stuff like that. But that will be for a later episode. Hopefully I can get all this stuff. I have a lot of plans of bringing different things. I don't know if I'm going to bring a plane with me or not. I, I'm thinking I'm going to, but there just isn't a lot of room for all this stuff. So, Anyways, guys, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come to all you new people. Welcome. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.